If you run up on somebody who called himself a prophet, run away. Because God has no more prophets. There are no more apostles. The last apostle was John and he died on the Isle of Patmos. I have a preacher who calls himself a cardinal. It's not going to be long before we're going to have a pope in the Black Baptist Church. Because bishop is not good enough. Cardinal is not going to be good enough after a while. After a while, we're going to have a pope. What's wrong with being pastor? What's wrong with just being a preacher? Everybody wants to have some special knowledge. God is not giving anybody any esoteric knowledge. The only knowledge you and I have now comes from reading the scripture. All right, Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles. And elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and double salutations to all you Akim out there laboring. The house of David, the elect that's pushing his word with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Shalom to you brothers and shalom to the elect. I'm back with another quick lesson through the Holy Spirit, the Rakakwadash. And Reverend Terry K. Anderson is another example of a bug out Christian pastor who don't got the spirit. Okay, one thing with these black Christian pastors, all they are is, is loud and proud and don't know the scriptures. Okay, because ultimately the mysteries, the secrets were not given to him. Okay, because the true prophets of the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, are back on the earth in their light as the, as the prophecy said would happen. All right, the true prophets of the Lord are back, whether he believes that or not. Okay. This is Sirach or Ecclesiastes chapter 27 and verse 9. And it reads, it says, The birds will resort unto their like. So will truth return unto them that practice in her. So that's a straight cut. Okay, so will truth return unto them that practice in her. So the prophets, the true prophets of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Shah, are back on the earth. And the scriptures tell us that he raised up prophets in his name. Okay. You Christian, you black Christian pastors, you don't know nothing, man. And as the elders, as really as the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shah has been getting on these damn, you know, fake church pastors. All right, it's time for you niggas to shut the hell up, man. You don't know what you're talking about. All right, the Lord has raised up the true prophets from old. They're back on the earth today. Isaiah 34 in verse 16, and it reads, it says, Seek you out of the book of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, and read, which is the Holy Scriptures. No one of these shall fail, all right? None of the prophecies. None shall want or mate, okay? Nothing can be compared to the Holy Scriptures, okay? Nobody's talking about the prophecies in the Quran. Nobody's talking about, you know, uh, 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 prophecies in the book of the dead, all right? Egyptology, okay? Nothing can be compared to the Holy Scriptures, man. It says, for my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them, the elect, the point. Verse 17, Isaiah 34 and 17, it says, and he hath cast a lot for them, and his hand hath divided unto them by line, going back to what? The talents, the portion of spirit that the Lord has given to each and every brother. The prophets, it says, they shall possess it, forever from generation to generation shall they dwell therein so the prophets would come back in their lot they would come back to their position man all right this is Sirach chapter 36 okay these black christian pastors do not have the spirit they don't got it the mysteries were not revealed unto them all right Sirach chapter 36 and verse in verse 12 and it reads we'll start at 11 Sirach 36 and 11 and it reads it says gather all the tribes of Jacob together and inherit thou them as from the beginning O Lord Yahweh Shemel Shai have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name 
and upon Israel, whom thou hast named thy firstborn. O be merciful unto Jerusalem, thy holy city, the place of thy rest. All right, because Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Okay. It says, and, and how is the Lord uh, dwelling with Jerusalem today? All right. Through the temple, which the temple is what? The Lord's men. The tabernacle of, uh, of the Most High, Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, is with men. So those men, which are the prophets of the Lord, are back. They have been raised back up again on the earth. Jeremiah 3 and 15 told us what? That, uh, 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 that he would give us pastors according to his heart. Which it ain't you niggas in the church. It says, fill Zion with thy unspeakable oracles and thy people with thy glory. All right. Which is what? The prophecies. The oracles, the prophecies, the law, statute, commandments. Given, given Israel the way. Fill Zion with thy unspeakable oracles and with thy people and thy people with thy glory. The point, verse 15, give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning. All right. The, 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 the spirits that were with Yahweh Shai before the creation. All right. The first, uh, the first fruits, those first spirits. It says, give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning and raise up prophets that have been in thy name. So the true prophets of the Lord, Yahweh Shima Shai, are on the earth. All right. They, they, they're on the earth. They're, they're back in this last generation. Okay. Verse 16, reward them that wait for thee and let thy prophets be found faithful. See? Daniel 12 and 13, it says, but go thy way to the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of days. So the Lord told Daniel that he, that he would come back, that he would come back into his lot in the, in the, in the last days, in the end of days. Okay. So all the major major and minor prophets are back. The Lord raised up prophets here in Babylon. Okay? Let's go there, man, because he didn't read Ephesians, the fourth chapter, right? So let's go there. This is Ephesians chapter four. We'll start it at verse one here. All right, unity of the spirit. This is Ephesians chapter four and verse one. And it reads, it says, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, Yahweh I beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called. All right. And I went into a lesson dealing with this yesterday. Go we'll hit this word vocation. That you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you are called. All right. Strong's G 2821. Clasis. Clasis. For that word vocation. All right. A call invitation to a feast. Of the divine invitation to embrace salvation of Yahweh Shema Washai. So we've been called into that, that marriage uh, uh, ceremony to partake into uh, uh, salvation, to be delivered. All right, the point here in the uh, lexicon it says, a call invitation to a feast. In the New Testament, everywhere in a technical sense, the divine invitation to embrace salvation in the kingdom of Yahweh Shema Washai, which is made especially through the preaching of the gospel. All right? And that's coming through the true prophets of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay? So there are prophets on the earth. Prophets, teachers, pastors, apostles. Okay? What is this guy talking about, man? All right? Reverend Terry K. Anderson. He has it all wrong. He ain't got it. The spirit of the Lord ain't working with him, man. He's just another Christian bug out pastor that's just running his damn mouth. All right? Going back. <clears throat> it says God does not repent of the invitation of sal to salvation which he decided of old to give to the people of Israel which he promised to their fathers i.e. the patriarchs which is the 12 patriarchs of Jacob okay let's go back Ephesians 4 and 2, it says, With all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. It says, in endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit and in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One power and father of all who is above 
who is above all and through all and in you all, all right? One spirit, one faith, one doctrine, okay? But unto every one of us is giving grace according to the measure of the gift of Yahweh Shai. Yeah, going back to the talents, man, okay? Going back to the talents that the Lord has, has bestowed upon us to, to, to push this truth, all right? To teach this word. It says, wherefore, he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. You see that? So ultimately, Yahweh Bashima was shy. He defeated death. All right. When he arose on the third day to go back to the father on the, and to sit on the right hand side, it said he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Going back to what? The talents, man. All right. Which gives us the ability to break the scriptures down, to teach. It says, now he... That now that he ascended, what is what is it but he what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens that he might fill all things. Right? Verse 9. Now he now that he I'm sorry, verse 10 it says, Ephesians uh, 4 and 10, he that descended is the same, is the same also ascended above up far above all heavens that he might fill all things verse 11 the point and he gave some apostles some prophets some evangelists and some pastors and teachers all right so these are the different ministrations of the body man okay so you're gonna you have apostles all right you have the bishops you have the prophets the teachers the pastors all right he didn't read this chapter verse 12 for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edify, for the edifying of the body of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, right? So these are the different offices, man. Okay? The different administrations to what? To build up the body. All right? For the perfecting of saints, for the work of the ministry, the vocation we've been called into. Right? Verse 13, till we are all so we all come into the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the son of power unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature and full and fullness of Yahweh Shai. Right? Verse 14, that we henceforth no more be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men. Right? Which this guy, Terry, Reverend Terry K. Anderson was doing. Okay. It says, by the slight of men and cunning craftness, whereby they lie and wait to deceive. You see that? And this is what this guy is doing, man. He's a false prophet, man. Okay? The true prophets of Yahweh Bashim Shai have been raised up again on, uh, upon the earth. They're back in this last generation, man. Okay? There's no getting around it, but he hasn't been given that understanding because like he said, nobody's been given the esoteric knowledge, all right? That's a damn lie, all right? Let's, let's read this uh, definition of esoteric, like you said, okay? Let's just play it back. Let's just hear it again, right? I have a preacher who calls himself a cardinal. It's not going to be long before we're going to have a pope in the Black Baptist Church. Because bishop is not good enough. Cardinal is not going to be good enough after a while. After a while, we're going to have a pope. What's wrong with being pastor? What's wrong with just being a preacher? Everybody wants to have some special knowledge. God is not giving anybody any esoteric knowledge. The only knowledge you and I have now comes from reading the scripture. So let's deal with that. This is the definition of esoteric. It says intended for or understood by only a small group, especially one with specialized knowledge or interests. Synonym, mysterious, relating to or being a small group with specialized knowledge or interest, not known by or suitable for the public, private, right? So he, he the mysteries were only revealed to the meek, as the scriptures say, Right? Let's get into that, man. And he's not part of the small group to receive the knowledge. 
This is dealing with the remnant, the elect. This is Colossians 1 and 25. It says, whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of power, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of power. Yahweh by Hashem Verse 26, even the mystery which had been hid from ages and, and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. All right. The saints starting with the Israelites. All right. The, the, uh, uh, dealing with the elect. Okay, we have the mysteries. Let's get that word for mystery here. Strong's G, 3466, Mustadion. Mustadion. For that word mystery, it says, hidden thing, secret mystery. It says, generally mysteries, religious secrets, confided only to the initiated. That's the elect. Confided only to the initiated and not to ordinary mortals. All right. This 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 is part of that esoteric knowledge, as we just read the definition here, right? Intended for or understood by only a small group. All right. The initiated, as we read, especially one with specialized knowledge or interest. Synonyms, mysterious, the mysteries, man. Relate related to or being a small group with specialized knowledge or interest. That's the prophets, man. Okay. A hidden or secret thing not obvious to the understanding. A hidden purpose or counsel. All right. This wasn't revealed to everybody. All right. This guy, Reverend Terry K. Anderson, is one of them. Secret will. The point it says of power, Yahweh by Shema Washai, the secret counsels which govern Yahweh by Shema Washai in dealing with the righteous, which are hidden from the ungodly and wicked men. But plain to the godly, all right? The scriptures say that this, this knowledge is, is plain to the holy, the righteous, but a stumbling block unto the wicked. So this has been hidden from the ungodly, all right? Esau and these heathen and these two-third niggas, which are hidden from the ungodly and wicked, and wicked men, but plain to the godly, all right? We got it, all right? The spirit was revealed unto the prophets. The, the secrets, the mysteries was, was only revealed unto the service as prophets, Amos 3 and 7. Okay? This is Sirach or Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 19. And it reads, it says, Many are in a high place and, re and of renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. You see? For, for the power of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Al Shai, is great, and he is honored of the lowly, man. So the Lord is dealing with the lowly, the meek, the humble. Okay, many are in a, in a high place, all right? Like this guy, Reverend T Terry K. Anderson. He's in a high place. He's a, uh, uh, you know, a, 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 a pastor, self-proclaimed pastor, you know? But the spirit of the Lord ain't dealing with him. He ain't got it. Everything that he said was off, okay? Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 29, and it reads, it says, The secret things belong unto the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, our power, but those things which are revealed belong unto us, right? The prophets. And to our children forever that we may do all the words of this law. All right. So the point he's been blinded, man. All right. Reverend Terry K. Anderson has been blinded from the mysteries, man. Right. I meant to get this earlier. Let me get this too. Going back into the minute, the different uh, administrations of the office, right? This is Romans, because he said there were no uh, uh, prophets, none of that. He said if you see a uh, if you if you hear somebody calling themselves a prophet, run away, right? This is Romans twelve. All right, this is Romans twelve in verse three, and it reads: It says, "For I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think." All right, like this pastor, this this black pastor here. Uh, 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 Terry K. Anderson. All right. He's proud, but know of nothing. Right. But to think soberly, according as Yahweh by Shema Washah have dealt to every man the measure of faith. See, for, for as we have many members in one body and all members have not the same office. So we being many are one body in Yahweh Shai and every one members of one of another. Having then gifts, going back to what? The talents that, that were distributed amongst the uh, amongst the prophethood, the brothers. 
the teachers, the apostles, all right, having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy let us prophesy according to the pro according to the proportion of faith, or ministry let us wait on our ministering, or he that teacheth on teaching, or he that exhorteth on exhortation, he that giveth let him doeth with simplicity, he that ruleth with diligence, he that showeth mercy and cheerfulness. Right? So the point, you know, those different offices, man. You know? But the bottom line is that the prophets, the true prophets of Yahweh Shema Washah are back on the earth. All right, and they've been given the secrets, the mysteries, man, the understanding. All right, which this guy, Reverend Terry K. Anderson, he don't he ain't got it. You know? So that's pretty much the point, you know. Just wanted to hit, uh, uh, tackle those points with the uh, with the scriptures here. I pray that this lesson was edifying. So I want to close it out by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the true apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth, and double salutations to all you Akim out there laboring. A hey, Shalom.